Howdy folks. Well, it's another week. I've had a fairly subdued week. Um, so what I've done here the last uh, two days, I've been tidying everything up. I've ripped down the old cover off the old um, the old roof and bought a new tarpaulin. I've put new tarps on it. Got an old one hanging out here. I think I'm going to call it the MASH 4077 because it's it's like an emergency ward in here with all the bits of junk and the restoration or the life saving. There's some more hatches and so forth I've got to restore over there. These are all the under here are all the um, the wall floor panels and everything as well too. It's the the doors from inside the um, chart cabin. And uh, I cleaned up that area around there this morning as well too. It was just, I mean, we've had months of, of literal um, non-stop rain and stuff. So this is a, one of the first opportunities in a while. And also this week I had to go in for some, um, um, some spinal procedures uh, for my back. So I'll uh, include some photos and uh, show you what that was all about. So it might be useful to some other veterans or somebody. Okay, okay. I'm talking about now these needles, I'll just read um, this off my medical you for this is uh, and then electrode them and try to burn off the wrong um, one. The we didn't work so what the doctor was time. doing, uh, it's a CT guided radio frequency ablation. Uh, my uh, L5 and S1 facet joints in the medial nerve branch. They uh, stick needles in there and try to burn the, ne the nerves off. Hasn't worked, they've done it four times, I'm going for my fifth. Uh, also in here, I've been going through all the different sections, sorting out the, the panels. That's the, the bow sprit step. That's the entry door to the cabin. That's the side vent panel. Um, going through all the different old tools and so forth. Uh, made a little, found this little shelf along the side of the road and I've cleaned that up and utilizing that as well at the moment. I'm very, very disorganised and messy, I apologise, but um, I tend to drift from one thing to another. Now, I have got some fantastic news. This company here, Silent Wind, um, they're from Portugal. I think the head office is in Germany. They have sponsored me. They have um, supplied me with all new propellers and um, cables and whatever I need, um, and also some switch boxes. So that's... Um, going to be fantastic so we've got some power wind power on the boat and they'll be sending that shortly from Portugal so that's brilliant news fantastic how you know you can reach out and it's you know people you know they don't have to but they do it's very nice um I've got my Ukrainian flag up there I hope we're all standing with Ukraine god bless those poor people those miserable son of a bit Putin Anyway, uh, so anyway, so I'm going to um, go backwards and forwards. As I said, I've been doing this all day. So, but I have to drill these out a little bit bigger, and uh, both those sides, and then I'm going to wire this on. So that's what I'm going to do shortly. So I'm going to leave you at this point here, and I will get back to you. There you go. Well, it's a bit of a special occasion. I'm at. Uh, can you see it up there? Rib force. Inflatables at uh, Gold Coast City Marina, and I'm going to come to see my good mate Owen Heaps. Who's uh, talk of the man, the legend? There he is. There he is. <laughs> Glasses on the head and everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just doing an intro, mate. Oh, okay. Yep. So, just thanking you very much. No worries. And we're gonna. Give it a go and see what we can do with it. You right? Thanks, buddy. Gotta be always laid down that way. All right. Tiller up. Always, always tiller up. Tiller up. Okay. No worries. Okay. Fantastic. Any hassles, let me know. Okay. So. Get around there. Okay, mate. You're a legend. No problem. He's a legend. Can we, <laughs> hang on, we're gonna get a big, get a big bro hug. Right. He's, he's a top bloke. So, mate, always thank you very much. Go easy. And um, yeah, so it's just a carb, yeah. Yeah. 
So, so I said, have a go at it. If you don't, any troubles, I'll fix it. Come over. Okay, mate. Yep. Awesome. Yep. I'll give you a go. Make it a Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, as long as you got a coffee ready for yeah, me, mate, mate, go. Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. is away for two months in Japan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so. Welcome. Put that on, Jim. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, I don't think I think it was shooting up to the sky anyway. Oh, okay. so, anyway. Oh, good. No, no worries. Okay. Thanks, Owen. No problem. Good luck with it. Cheers, bud. Thanks, mate. Ta. How cool is that? Yeah, you going? Well, I've spent most of the the day doing this. They're all going out. These are um, ships and cases display cases i'm doing this as raising funds for the veterans with ptsd boat restoration project and i've got some leftover hms hobart hms hobart hms perth and uh yeah so yeah they'll raise some funds and they're for sale hopefully some people will buy them and put some more funds in the, the boat fund and uh i've hooked up the little those are the boxes that came in and uh, I got the uh, motor off uh, Owen today I've just hooked it on the back of the trailer here because I haven't had a chance to look at it yet as I said I spent all day in the office setting up things so I've got to set up a little stand system so I can pop this on somehow pretty good nick needs a new um carburetor i don't know what i can do to make a stand this is what i'm using for the other motor it's a big uh commercial hose holder stand i suppose i could make another bracket over this side i don't know what else i can use anyway uh, what is it? It's half past three in the afternoon. And I bought a shade sail at Aldi. So I thought this might be useful. Up there. So, got a few little jobs to do. So, I'll uh, have a think about that. Three metres across, five metres long. There's my Ukrainian flag up there. Go Ukraine. Glory to Ukraine. Uh, okay, so I'll uh, get my head around what other little projects I need to do to set myself up here. I could maybe stick it on these. These are some old cables I pulled out of the, the boat. But I think that they'll all have to get chucked anyway. But there might be copper in there, so I don't know if that's worth anything. It's all quite heavy. Yeah, I don't think so. Need something more sturdy to support it. Ooh, maybe something over there. Let's see. Hold on. Well, I've um, had a spare set of um, tail lights. I couldn't find another nut for this one, and as it has exactly the same tail lights, except they've used bigger threads on it. So I've pulled the new tail lights out and I'm going to put a new tail light on that side. I've just um, connected all the wires, heat treated them, and put some shrink wrap on it. So I'm going to connect those now. Then I'll run the wires. Oops. I'll run these wires through. So I'll have to join the other one on somewhere and make sure the indicators on the outside. Yeah, sorry folks, I haven't been up to much this last two weeks. Just haven't been 100%. I 
Okay, is that nuts? Excuse me. Pressure nut. Spring. Spring nut. Got a little spring nut, flat washer. Oops, it's feeling a bit small. It's too small. What's going on there? Okay. journey and a half you wouldn't think so would you but... okay so I think it's gonna be best to run them straight I don't know straight catch anywhere and also but these gonna go under the water keep it up higher now I can catch it inside maybe now should be right. I'll, I'll think I'll do that I'll run them through here but I'll also put some more um, electrical tape on it just to double make sure and if I get I might run them underneath there I'll just get some black electrical tape and I'll just wrap that around there so that way there's nothing catching there I'll do that and then I'll get back to you Okay, everybody, just um, be prepared. There's, um, I've injured myself in some of these uh, pictures coming up ahead. So um, if you want, you can jump to, uh, I think, 15 minutes uh, and skip this. So if you want to watch, it's not too graphic. It's, it's not too bad. But anyway, just, just another thing I've done to myself on the journey with this boat it should be called battle scars not navy days but anyway uh, you've been warned so um, just up to you do what you decide okay cheers well I did it to myself again put my calf muscle in the back of the trailer and ripped the hole in the back of my leg ambulance is coming now well the ambulance finally came after 40 minutes it's a good thing it wasn't arterial, that's all I can say. Anyway, they, these guys are really nice. Uh, took me to uh, Gold Coast Private Hospital, got stitched up by a very nice doctor and uh, nurse, and uh, yeah, things are healing up well. So there you go, take it easy. Okay. Well, I'm not going up in the boat because I'm still got a big patch on the back of my leg for that hole I put in my leg. I'll show you what happened. 
Oh, I dropped a whole bunch of stuff too, apparently. This thing here was sticking up somehow. That was sticking up and out. And then I hooked my leg onto that. And then I couldn't get my leg out. And then I tripped and fell down. And then that just basically took a chunk of meat out of the back of my leg like that. So if anyone's got uh, split pins, turn them all down. That one's broken by looks like. It's not looking too good. I'll have to pliers, pliers. Pliers, pliers, pliers. They're pliers. I'll have to get some pliers on that. Same here. Push that down. That's up too. Pretty nasty. Look at that. That's very nasty. That's down. I should put some tape over these things. I think. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm back here at this stage here. So, what I'll do is I've got my reference here. So, yellow left hand turn and stop lamps. So, yellow and red is on the left. So, I've got my here. What's yellow? Oh shit. Well, people, I think I've come to a decision. This is just one ugly, ugly roundabout I'm on at the moment. And uh, I'm just, just doing this all the time. So what I'm gonna do, I think, is I'm gonna get a, uh, a wet, dustless blaster guy in here. I think they charge about $270, $80 an hour. And I'm just gonna get him to go from the front up there, all the way down here, all the way through there, and blast it all the way through. And then I'll just have to come in straight away after it and just paint it out. But he'll uh, he'll just blast all, like this is just too much for me. Uh, it's it's uh, doing my heading. So 
I'm going to bite the bullet. I sold a couple of ships on auction, whatever, um, as fundraisers, not auction. And uh, I'll use some of those funds to get this done. It's expensive, but I just think, I, I just got to get past this. It's just, it's really too much. And, and last month, basically, I've had to, um, uh, I've had issues to go with my spine. And uh, I took that chunk out of my leg. So I'm sorry for being uh, like, Three weeks four weeks since i've done something but i'll post this up today and that's where i'm at the moment and i've been working on the boat electronics and i still can't get that right so i don't know what's going on there uh so it's all sort of doing my head in at the moment so anyway that's where i think i'll go i'll wait till after it's easter it's good friday now that's probably god telling me to stop work i shouldn't be working on good friday anyway and i'm going to go back inside have a cup of coffee a cup of tea and just chill out for the day and uh just chill out. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Yeah, just one more special shout out to um, thank um, Silent Wind and uh, the other companies that uh, get behind me and support me. And uh, thank you, my friends who have supported me. Uh, you know who you are. M much appreciated. I'm uh, had a rough month, um, but it's just just a bump in the in the, in the road that we travel. So I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep on persevering. But would be great if uh, anyone who wants to help further could please support me on my Patreon channel. Uh, there you go, patreon.com forward slash Navy Days. Uh, yeah, that would be a great help because uh, things are tough at the moment. So, But anyway, I shall persevere. Thanks very, very much. Cheers.